of crisis following the elections, hit by so many losses of human life, here we are finally at the dawn of a new era of hope. After several weeks of clashes, useless clashes, Mr. Laurent Gbagbo was arrested this Monday, the 11th of April, 2011, by the Republican forces of Ivory Coast. Like all Ivorians, we would have wanted the transfer of power after the elections last November should have taken place in another way. We would like to re reassure the Ivorian people and the international community that all measures have been taken to ensure the physical integrity of Mr. Gbagbo and his wife and all those who have been arrested. So that we can build a state of rule of law, I have asked the Minister of Human Rights to start a judicial process for Mr. Gbagbo, for his wife and his supporters. They will receive a dignified treatment and their rights will be respected. I appeal to all my compatriots who might have a sentiment of vengeance to abstain from all reprisals and violence. I express my willingness to put in place a Truth and Reconciliation Commission which will document all the massacres, all the crimes, and all other violations of human rights to the young people who have turned into militiamen. They must understand that their struggle has no more meaning from today. I ask them to lay down their arms. To the population which has suffered so much from this crisis, I share their pain. And I ask them to have faith in the future my dear compatriots, for a return to order and calm, I have asked the National Police, the National Gendarmerie, the Armed Forces, and to the Impartial Forces to make sure that the properties and people of Ivory Coast are protected. Ivorians, at this historic moment for our country, I invite you to remain calm and to hold yourselves back. I ask all my fellow citizens to do everything so that peace returns definitively to our country. Today, a blank page opens before us, white as the white of our flag, symbol of hope and of peace. And it is together that we will write our history in reconciliation and forgiveness. Long live the Republic. Long live Ivory Coast. Have uh, Alassane Ouattara, the president of Ivory Coast, speaking on TCI television. He said it was this crisis took four months, and he expressed uh, sorrow for the loss of life in his country. He said that this was a dawn of new era of hope, but he said that there would be a judicial process uh, to begin involving Laurent Bagbo, his wife, and his supporters. But he did promise that they would have dignified treatment. He's asked the militia to lay down their arms and he went on to say that he shared in the pain of the civilians who've suffered so much in the uh, four months since those disputed elections last November and he urged everybody in the country to work for peace. This of course uh, coming on the day that uh, Laurent Bagbo 
finally surrendered and was taken into custody. So the, uh, the, that's the first statement from the new president of the Ivory Coast, Alassane Ouattara. And uh, 